One of the software engineers at Facebook gave me this coding question during the mock interview. So given a string containing digits from 2 to 9, which represents numbers on the telephone buttons, return all possible letter combinations that the numbers could represent. Let's say we're given the digits 2 and 3, 2 can represent A, B, C, and 3 can represent D, E, F, then we have the following combinations. Let's go over the doll process. When finding combinations, we can implement recursive backtracking. For each of the digits, we will first retrieve its letters. Then we can iterate through the letters and add the current character to our combination and then recursively look for the remaining letters. We can now repeat the process for the next digit by retrieving all of the letters and then appending a letter to our combination. Now when the length of the combination is equal to the length of the input string, we can add it to our resulting list. Then we can backtrack our steps by removing the last character from the current combination. Then we can move on to the next letter to generate another combination. Let's go over the code, create a 2D matrix to keep track of the letters of each digit. Now let's implement the function letter combinations taking the input digits. If digits is empty, return an empty list, create the resulting list, invoke the recursive backtracking approach, return results. Now let's implement the helper method taking the current index, the combination, results, and digits. If index is out of bound, add the current combination to results, return from the recursive call. Retrieve the current digit, iterate through the letters, append the current letter to combination, recursively find the remaining letters, backtrack our steps. 